was 4th of July, we're going to be in this time. I'm trying to make this darkness go away. I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my lungs give out. Mm -hmm. I'm going to let the sun shine in. Happy Saturday. It is July the 3rd, 2021, and I'm just now on my way to Walmart to find us 4th of July outfits. Um, I want cute ones for the kids because I want to do Instagram photos and not anything fancy. I don't do I don't do fancy Instagram photos. I don't know how to do the presets or anything like that, but I do my Instagram posts for like my memories. That's where my memories are. I don't show my kiddos a lot on YouTube. Um, like my, the, they're definitely not the focus of my channel but my Instagram I can because it's kind of like I archive their pictures all over there I don't have any other social media I don't have personal social media so that's just the way that I keep up with I, I need to find a better method honestly I would like to try those Shutterfly books for pictures um, or something like that that way I could have I want physical copies and digital copies just in case because you never know we're, we're having our 4th of July celebration tonight at Nanny's because Nanny doesn't do nothing on Sunday like that <laughs> So we're going tonight to see fireworks. My dad will be there. You guys will get to meet my dad for the first time. Um, you guys know Nanny already, but we're just gonna have a fun time. I'm just hoping, really hoping that all of the 4th of July stuff isn't gone from Walmart because that would suck. I really wanna find like, I don't know. I'm, I don't know what. I know I wanna find cute outfits for the kids. Um, and, and I think I told Nanny, like Nanny said just to bring stuff like tater salad and stuff. So I may see if Walmart has tater salad. I don't know, is Walmart's tater salad good? I don't know. I know Food Cities is. Anyways, okay, people are watching me vlog. So I'll be back. Hopefully, cross my fingers, I can find some clothes at Walmart. If not, we're gonna hit up a DG. We ain't doing nothing fancy though. I ain't going to Children's Place to buy once a year a tire. Okay, so Walmart was practically out of everything. Next year, I'm not going to wait. I think I'm just going to order off Amazon ahead of time. But the good thing the bright side of going to Walmart was apparently they're doing crazy markdowns right now. It's like clearance day. Almost everything in Walmart that we passed by was marked down. So I took advantage of that. I got Cole a shirt for three bucks. Three dollars. All their shirts were marked down to three dollars. And this one says feeling jawsome with jaws on it. I got this shirt for the 4th of July for Cami. Literally, I had two options. This was the better option. <laughs> um, I got the girls, these daddies, little firecracker show, uh, firecracker shows. <laughs> daddies little firecrackers. And they got the little knots on them, so they're kind of cropped and stuff. I want them to be long enough to not show their belly, though. Um, I got a 2T for Jelly because she's tiny. She is six, but she is tiny. She wears 2T clothes. And then I got a five for JC. We're just using them this year and then we'll donate them. And then for Colt, they didn't have any his size. So we had to go to the adult size for him. Big boy. And he has a motorcycle. <laughs> this is why mamas shouldn't go to the store last minute for freedom stuff because your child's gonna be coming in with a chopper. It's a chopper. <laughs> but I did find him these gorgeous 80s looking oh, washed wow. denim shorts oh yeah baby i'm gonna look like the 80s man yeah, i'm gonna look like 80s look barf look on my like pants i'm <laughs> gonna look like a geek geek <laughs> look at that call me a geek <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> going up a bajillion's hat too son oh. <laughs> look at that now that is a look <laughs> That's a look that just screams America. <laughs> These little clips. They were $3. They were $3. Nothing of the 4th of July stuff or Independence Day, anything like that was on sale. Which sucked because it's like the day before and everybody's celebrating today because it's Saturday. 
So I found these. I wanted to find two of these. The kids love these JoJo Siwa big bowls. They have a collection of them. They love them, but there was only one left. So we just had to get one, and then we got some of these to improvise with. They put these in the buggy. And I was like, oh, how cute is this hand sanitizer? Okay, guys. I get home, pull them out, and realize that we just spent $5 on hand sanitizer. Five times four is 20. Then... I was in a hurry because Cameron was having an off day and I bought three pairs of shoes. I only have two girls. <laughs> what is this about? I meant to get a blue one for Jolie because she picked those out and and the white ones for JJ, but apparently I don't know what happened here. It was whew, it was a time in Walmart. I got me these pajamas because they were marked down. They weren't 988. And look how cute. They have giraffes on them. Those are kind of, I don't need more pajamas, but I do need more pajamas. Who says they don't need more pajamas? I need more pajamas. I got the girls some of these hair ties. The elastic ones. And then I got me a couple of shirts. I got me a Hey Arnold shirt. These are comfy shirts for me to just do cleaning videos in. Because y'all know, I do cleaning videos in my pajamas. So look for this outfit in a future video. Because who wouldn't put giraffes with Hey Arnold? Oh yeah. And then I got this shirt. This shirt was on, this shirt wasn't on sale, but it was the only tie-dye shirt they had that was in my size, and I loved it. Just living my best life, because I, I am. Okay, now I gotta get the kiddos ready to go to Nana. Talking, the wind blowing in the trees. Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light. Oh, and I'll try to spread my wings so I can Hey, Dad. Hey, <laughs> Dad. My subscribers, I would introduce you. Hey, this is my dad. I wish I knew that Joe Dirt line. I don't even know who Joe Dirt is. Oh. She got a new rug. Look! She got a new couch set and a rug. It looks so pretty with her dark furniture. Look! And she even put her little arrangement in the thing I got her for Mother's Day. That's leather. She's got a couch cover on it, I guess, because my kids. <laughs> Y'all gonna have to tell Nanny to cut her tags off her pillows. Like you did me. Got this chair. She got this chair with this cover. And then she's getting rid of that chair. She was going to give it to me, but I didn't have no room in my house for it. There's her fireplace right there that y'all remember seeing last time. Like, look how pretty this is. That's the lamp that I got her that matches mine. Her porch out there, how pretty. I'm in love with this rock, though. And she's got her lamps over there. That's what it looks like from my view. And then this is what she's giving me right here to make a coffee bar out of. I'm going to make a coffee bar out of it. I think that'll do pretty good as a coffee bar. She also got another rug for down here 
and she put the uh, buffalo plaid curtains in her seat and she also got buffalo plaid curtains from over here I told her she needs to paint that unless she likes it that way but she took those orange candles down that were here last time and she put these up there how cute are those I love those she even got her little table runner with some wine glasses what Oh, Shane Drake. Anything. You know, Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper? Okay. What's your name of help doing? It's cold. Right. Look Is at it? her buffalo plaid rugs. Does he still want ice? But yeah, who want ice? Okay. Her kitchen is probably my favorite room in the house. You like my kitchen? You don't like yeah. my living room no more? Yeah, I like your living room. Your kitchen is just really bright. I'm on a... Paint Look at that, how week. pretty. You know it? So pretty. Boy, it ain't as pretty as yours, honey. Yeah, it is. Yours is beautiful. I love that fireplace. Okay. Now you get what you want to drink, okay? This is my. And place. that's her dining room from yeah. this area. And it looks awesome. She says she's going to let me do a home tour soon whenever she cleans yeah, up her room. Do a home right. And then here's her living room it looks so pretty she's got a big old living room this is a double wide it's like a man do you know what year your house is i think it's like a o2 double wide it's an older one but it's pretty Let me get a beauty shot. Let me get a beauty shot. Hand on your hip. Work it. Look at that. I'm taking a video. <laughs> What you made of? That's too far. That's a daggone mile apart. That's a mile apart. I get my whole day steps in from walking here to there. No. All right. Let's see what you made of. Okay. That one was close. <laughs> oh, I got it! <laughs> oh, that was close! They're like a girl. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> <laughs> She's winning. Yeah, Oh, that was close.
I'm about to take down dad on some cornhole. Okay, so I titled myself the one-eyed wonder and dad benched me. <laughs> Actually, I gave Shane my spot because I <laughs> I wasn't doing dad any justice. The days we used to shine when we were young I told you that we should start a band and reach for the sky It's 2 a.m. and I can't fall asleep I'm just not tired I can hear the raindrops falling Did you get it? Yes, I got it. Oh, that third one. What the heck? <laughs> Any cornhole, professional cornhole teams want to sign my dad up? <laughs> you hear him over there telling you lies in the morning. Dad's acting like he's a baseball player so she can try to get It's working. Be careful, you got dog dookie over here that somebody has slid in. Where? Oh no. Oh Those yeah. Shoes? Mm -hmm. Those shoes. I don't know, I checked mine. I don't have shoes. No, Jojo, you got poopy between your toes? <laughs> okay, I'll get it up. Where's it at? It's somebody's dog. Where's that, Joe? Have a dog. Nan loves dog dookie. <laughs> oh no, I don't. Oh. Sissy, you put that on my <laughs> Joey, I love you. Sign language, Nanny. Sign language. <laughs> These look so pretty. They have the prettiest sports I think I've ever seen. I love you. I love you more. Gender reveal sparklers. I wonder if it's a boy or a girl. <laughs> who's, who's gonna light them? Me, 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 no, me. You don't have that. Every year, Dad and Shane are the duo that almost kill us. Every year, since I've been married to Shane, actually, whenever we started dating, every year he's almost killed me with some firework. Now, a uh, year before last. Or last year, uh -huh. I didn't know it was Kitty that was Dad. Yeah, the the year before last, it wasn't Shane; it was Dad. He almost killed me with a firework. Yep. I'm taking a video. Oh, look Cassie over there. He's so pretty. I'm going to stay in my hair. I'm going to watch over here. Why don't I get a yellow one? Oh, Lord. He's got Nan doing it. Look at you. You look like an Indian. Look at that one. I can't get my stay in. I wonder if you think about me too. 
These are the new kicks. They're your new kicks? Yeah. Let's see if we can find them. Okay. I see you. <laughs> Are you climbing a tree? <laughs> the kids are up there on the trampoline watching the fireworks from the trampoline. Nan said Cammy's just sitting there and he ain't said one thing except for what something's going on. <laughs> It's something going on. Good. I think it's afternoon, y'all. Uh, we woke up at like 10 o'clock. We didn't go to bed. I didn't go to bed till like 2.30. But I was up reading, um, finishing the book I was reading. I was reading the, I can't remember, I can't remember which book in the Lux series that I've been reading lately. I can't remember which book I ended on, but I, because they all start with O's and they run together. But right now I am on, what am I on? Opposition. That's the one that I'm working on right now. I just started Opposition. It's a luck series that I'm reading. It's basically Twilight, but with aliens. I've mentioned it a hundred times on here. Shane just got back with the groceries. We, we did grocery pickup this morning because I've got to meal prep this week. I meal prepped a little last week, but not as much as I should have. So, like, I basically put double the work on myself for throughout the week. Not happening again because we're full-blown back into school for the school year we do school year round but we're going back to full-time days again monday tomorrow july the 5th so i've got to have everything under control i've got to have my house under control i've got to have my meal prepping my meal plan all that stuff so that so that it can go smoothly because y'all know the, that first full-blown school week in homeschool and even in public school like things are crazy so I want to just make it as easy as possible on me, on the kiddos, on Shane, as I possibly can. So I'm going to show you guys what we got. I'm still in the low carb. Did great this last week. I did uh, eat a, I did eat a hot dog bun on the 4th of July, but not beat myself up about it because you know what? This is a lifestyle change for me. It's not a diet. This is going to happen again. I have holidays with my family that I want to actually enjoy and not worry and count carbs and count calories. And that's okay if I enjoy them. The thing is, I can't let that roll over into the next week and then binge, binge, binge eat. I got to stop it right there, take it back, and do everything in moderation. So that's exactly what I did. Now it's back full blown on the low carb train. I'm, I had a few people ask me if I'm doing keto. I'm not doing keto. I have done keto before. I would suggest doing keto. Um, depending on how your stomach is uh, eating a lot of fats eating a lot of fats can really mess up your stomach it messed up mine for a long time so talk to your doctor see if it's something he would recommend you do with the issues going on in your body not everybody's body is the same as for me i don't like keto i i go as far as to call what i'm doing right now dirty keto i guess you could say do a lot of sugar-free stuff um and you know that's not clean eating that's not healthy eating but if it drops my weight, it's benefiting me some way, somehow. So that's what I'm doing right now. When I get to a smaller size, and I, it's all about control and learning control when it comes to food. And that's what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to teach myself control when it comes to food. Can't do clean eating right now. I don't have that kind of control. But with controlling myself with low carb, I may get to that point someday. And I hope I do. So that being said, I still am on the low carb thing. And you guys will be seeing tons of low carb options in here. A lot of the low carb like Quest chips that I love, they were out completely. They didn't have any flavor. So I didn't get those, but I did get some other cool stuff that I want to show you guys. And then I got the kids and Shane's regular stuff. So let me show you what we got. All right, first load. We got two pack of 18 count eggs, some Angel Soft toilet paper, some great value everyday strong paper towels, the kiddos some more of these Kool-Aid bursts, would you believe the ones that I got last week are already drunk? Um, 
the bag clips I got, I got this because I'm tired of eating stale pork rinds. Ain't nothing worse than eating stale pork rinds. It tastes full blown like styrofoam. That's exactly what it tastes like. Then I got this throw pillow. I got it because fall is coming upon us. I'm already feeling all the fall vibes and I'm excited to decorate with this. So like with fall, I don't have a lot of fall decorations. I usually don't decorate a whole lot for fall, like minus Dollar Tree stuff. So I'm going to start stocking up slowly the, you know, because like taking out of my fall fund, I have a little, I have an itty bitty fall fund. Taking out of my fall fund and getting the little things like this that'll just make kind of the living room feel a little bit more cozy, you know, October-y, September-y. My birthday's in September also, so this is early birthday to me. I got these, even though I'm feeling the fall vibes, I'm still feeling the summer scent, <laughs> which happens to me. I don't know, usually during the summer, I'm feeling fall. I'm feeling um, apple cider candles, pumpkin spice candles, all those things. And then during the fall and winter, I get a hankering for these scents, which this one's awesome. It's called Island Coconut Creamsicle. It smells really good, especially if you're feeling like you're wanting it to feel like you're on vacation. Uh Oh, I'm on vacation. Um, got some of these fudge covered. The kiddos love these. They also love these. They're like the off-brand Ritz. Look at these things. These things are low carb. Well, lower carb. They're healthier. They are called Palmont Palmini. Palmini Linguini. <laughs> Palmini Linguini. <laughs> and these little bitty noodles. I don't know what they're made of, but TikTok. I have low carb TikTok and they said that these are the bomb and this is what their macros look like. Why is it not focusing? That's what their macros look like. Pretty darn good. So I got those to try out. Also, they give me this for salt. It looks like they wrapped up a firecracker and just put a label. Why would they do that? Just take the label off. Seriously, I don't know. Then I got me some unsweetened applesauce because I can sweeten it with stevia. It's got um, it's got 16 grams of carbs, but it has two grams of fiber, so 14 grams of carbs. So like this will be like a spoonful kind of snack for me. Like I can't eat a whole cup of it. I would. Well, I mean I could if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. It'll be like if I'm craving something sweet, I'll go stick a spoon, lick a spoon, stick it in sugar so it sticks, and then to get a spoonful of this. <laughs> That's why this is for me, so I can eat out of it. These are for Shane. He would not eat unsweetened applesauce to save his life. So he's got these little kitty applesauces. The kids don't like applesauce too much. Shane loves it. So I got him two of those. He's been dying for ketchup all week. Every day I've heard, Rena, do we have ketchup? No, Shane. The next day, Rena, do we have ketchup? No, Shane. Rena, do we have ketchup? We have ketchup now, Shane. <laughs> I got the kiddos these little mini twist ups because they love those. Jolie has, Jolie has an issue with her oil glands in her eyes. We have to clean out her eyes all the time um, to make sure that there's no buildup or anything. So this is what we get her. And they work really good. We've used these for, I think, about a year now. And it works great, especially if you have a lot of, like, oil blockages. The oil glands in her eyes tend to get blocked really easily. So we use those, and it helps tremendously. I got the kiddos a big thing of popcorn because they love their popcorn. Yes. My friend Tony told me about a recipe to do these with. She's doing low carb with me. So I'm going to be meal prepping these later. You guys will see that in another video. Because I'm doing a separate video for meal prepping and cleaning. Got some chicken legs. Some drumsticks. A whole bag. I think it's a five pound bag. <coughs> Two things of our normal pancakes. Great value frozen pancakes. I got me these inner, drink, inner drinks. I got these. I don't need more energy, y'all. I got these energy drinks rather than the ones I got last week, which was the Red Bull. The Red Bull sugar-free ones were okay. But everybody and their mom has been telling me about these. So I got a four-pack of the Rainbow Unicorn ones. I got two cotton candy ones. I got a pina colada one. I got a Star Blast one. I don't know what's in that one, but it looks patriotic. Um, I got a Cherry Blade Lemonade one, and all these have, like, zero carbs, right? That's the thing about the bangs, is they have zero carbs. Yeah, all these have zero carbs, so that's awesome. I'm hoping they taste good. I'll keep you guys updated. I got me some ice sparkling waters again. This one is the Coconut Pineapple. Um, I liked the peach ones, peach nectarine ones I got last week, but I wanted to try different ones. 
they finally had my orange mango one. So many people are telling me to try this black raspberry one, so I got one of those. I also got a ton of the strawberry lemonades and the lemonade ones, but apparently they're really good because they substituted them. Or no, I didn't allow substitution on these. They didn't substitute them, they just took them off the thing. Everybody was telling me to try the lemonade ones, the strawberry lemonade ones, and I got them, but they didn't have them. And then this one's pink grapefruit. I got me some frozen pepper onion blends. Got the kiddos some popcorn and the kiddos a variety pack of chips. I got the Great Value 16. One. I ordered um, the new cream, cream, vanilla cream, Dr. Pepper sugar free ones, and they were out. So I got the Coke Zero in its replacement, and then I got the no sugar mango Pepsis. I'm gonna try those, and like I just like if I'm doing low sugar, like no sugar, I'm gonna need something really fantastical to keep me drinking it. Other than that, like if it was just no sugar Pepsi, I'd be like, nope, nope, nope. Got me some wipes. Got me some Rebel. It says, uh, got me some Rebel ice cream sandwiches. Literally has five grams of net carbs per sandwich. That is awesome. I, I used to eat Rebel, Rebel. <laughs> I used to eat Rebel a lot um, back when I did keto, but Rebel just had started coming out back when I did it, and all we had before that was Halo Top. So I'm anxious to try these out because I've never had these before. Got me some more carb counter tortillas, and let me get this put away, and I'll show y'all the second round. Okay, so this is all for the second load. I got a thing of pork chops, a thing of cube steak, two rolls of sausages. I'll be meal prepping in that in that video I was telling you about. You guys will have already seen it, because um, I'm posting the meal prep video before this video. I got a two more things of the grilled chicken. We still have some left in the fridge, but this time I just got the regular um, chicken breast strips, and then I got another fajita ones. My favorite are the fajita ones. I got a two pack of these Max. I wanted to get the variety pack so that when I open the bags, you know, they're little bags, they wouldn't go stale. But Walmart's always out of them, so I got a salt and vinegar one and a spicy buffalo ones. I love these. I got three different kinds of Atkins shake. Well, actually four, because I just put. No, I got three. I got three. Um, because I, I've already tried the milk chocolate ones. I always go to the milk chocolate ones. They're my favorite. But I got the dark chocolate ones this time. Because I want a little bit of variety. I got the chocolate banana ones. And then I got the milk chocolate ones. I drink these for breakfast. I have these along with my coffee. I don't really Give usually... Shark Week! Shark Week! Shark Week. Okay, yeah. calm down. We'll watch it. Colton just saw that it was Shark Week on the Roku, and he's like, it's Shark Week! Okay, yeah, we'll watch it. We'll watch it. Yes. Um, I have these along with my coffee for breakfast. I've tried it in the coffee. I like it that way, too, but honestly, if I have a coffee and this, like, side by side, it just feels like more, so I feel filled up. It's, it's a brain thing. <laughs> it's a brain thing. Got some pepperoni. I got two packs of these, um... Frigo cheese head combo packs with the Slim Jim or whatever, the beef jerky. I love these and I ate through them really fast last week. So I got two of those. I got some Taco Bell Mexi Melty Cheese. I've never tried this and it looks really good. And I got some mozzarella and I got some pretzel sticks for the kids. Shane some and the kids some Swiss rolls. I got me some Rebel ice cream to go along with my ice cream sandwiches. This is four grams per whole container and this one is mint chip. And this one is 8 grams for whole container, so I definitely wouldn't eat this whole container um, in one sitting. Which I would hope I wouldn't eat that one in one sitting either. But you just never know. <laughs> um, and this one is chocolate peanut butter. And I don't laugh about that stuff, just laugh about it. Like, I just, guys, it's real life. I'm not going to sit here and say that one night I wouldn't be, like, feeling a binge worthy ice cream sesh and not binge this. I would love to tell you that I would never do that like other people do, but I'm not going to lie to you. Um, it may happen. I pray it doesn't in Jesus' name, but it may happen. I found these on TikTok. Um, TikTok's a really good place for low-carb recipes. Just go on there. you, you got to bypass a bunch of ridiculous junk on TikTok. But if you search for low-carb recipes, you'll more than likely only find low-carb recipes. And so that's what I do on TikTok. I never hit the For You page up because it's just too much of a mess on there, y'all. Like, I, I avoid it. <laughs> I avoid it unless I'm searching for something like book recommendations or low-carb recipes, stuff like that. I found these on there. There's only two grams of sugar, so it does have sugar. This is not keto. This can only be low-carb. 
Um, unless, you know, I'm not going to do what you want to do. If you're keto and you want these, girl, do it. It's healthier than the regular ones, okay? So, this one's 2 grams of sugar for strawberry. This one's 2 grams of sugar for mixed berry. And this one's 2 grams of sugar for blueberry. In a pinch, if you're feeling something sweet, these would be awesome. I haven't tried them, though. I'll let you know how they are. So, honestly, if you're feeling something sweet, let me try them first, and then I'll tell you. I also found another bang that I had laying around. <laughs> this one's the Froze Rose. That name intrigued me, so I'll probably be trying this one first. I just hope it don't taste like rosemary. Dear Lord, do not give me an energy drink that tastes like rosemary. I need a toilet bowl cleaner, so I got one for the kids' bathroom one for my bathroom. And that is it. I'm going to get this stuff put away. I'm going to read for a little bit because it's Sunday. I'm relaxing. I'm going to read for a little bit. Maybe a couple, you know, 25 pages or something like that. Then let me show you what I have to tackle. I have to tackle all this mess and I have to food prep and clean again tonight. So at 6 o'clock, I'm going to start my food prep. And I'm going to prep all my food for this week. And then I'm going to clean up after myself so that tomorrow I'll have a fresh start. Um, before I do any of that, though, this is what I'm left with after this, this week. This week was hard on me. You have this mess from when um, Shane and I started the cleaning video and we didn't finish it. Got laundry to fold and put away. Oh, I also got Shane 24 pack of Dr. Pepper and waters in my grocery haul as well. But this is, this is what we're looking like in the house right now. I've got to get this tackled. Next time you see this, this kitchen, this kitchen, this kitchen, this kitchen will be spotless. And I'll be doing my meal prep. Lies. She's telling lies. So, Shane did the dishes for me. Thank you, Jesus. But we just, it, me and the kids went outside and walked up and down the road and watched the neighbors with fireworks that, like, my house, okay, it's basically made out of popsicle sticks. Not really, like, mobile homes can be built pretty sturdy, but when you put it up to, like, a, a block home or, like, a brick home, like, it's popsicle sticks. Why would you get commercial fireworks and blow them up in a community full of popsicle sticks i don't get it i don't get it but anyways i was like okay we're, i was like this i was getting a little antsy because they were getting really close the kids have been wanting to watch shark week so bad so one of them mentioned shark week i was like hey let's go watch shark week so they're in here watching shark week me and binks are chilling out binks is following me ain't you buddy he's scared so i'm trying to get his mind keep his mind off of the fireworks he, d he doesn't freak out like other dogs but still you can tell he's just not happy he's just laying around and on edge ain't you buddy so i'm gonna try to get his, i'm trying to keep his mind occupied so i'm gonna see if i can find his nail clippers because he's long overdue for a nail trim and um see if maybe this is the wrong time to do it i don't know but with him but i just feel like it would help get his mind off of stuff i thought i put it in my closet but apparently i didn't well hey baby Hold on, Mom, I'm finding for you. What's a baby doing? Watch this, hold on. Babe, where's your toy chest? Where's your toy chest? Is this your toy chest? You got all your toys in there? Huh? Yeah, I've got all his toys in here. <laughs> I love him. You say hi? Hi? Right, do we put it? I think we did put it in here, Banks. There's your nail filer. He hides random stuff in here. You know what, you know what that is. You cool with that, ain't you? Oh, there they are. You've got trash in here, Banks. Where's your favorite toy? He usually. Banks. The girls are going to flip out. He hides everything in here. He's got little sweaters in here. Oh, look. He knocked that down. He's got. Look at that. So I'm going to use a little clippers on him and see if that will get his mind off of it. With another dog, like, I would be concerned doing something like this when they're already, like, high anxiety and stuff about the stuff going around, on around them. But I know Banks, and I know that he likes to have his mind off of stuff like this. So I, I suspect he's going to do maybe even better than normal. Because he does well already with his toenails. Um... The reason they've gotten so long isn't because of him, it's because of me. I lose them and then I find them and I lose them and I find them again.
two places all at once. Excuse me, mister. Where you going? Where you going? Where you going? here it is getting late on the 4th of July it is it is 10 30 so I'm going to read some more the kids are gonna watch some more um, shark week Shane's drawing for his TikTok down there so we're just gonna be hanging out the rest of the night I hope you all have a blessed morning evening night whatever it is wherever you're at happy 4th of July know that Jesus loves you wait no that I love you but Jesus loves you more and I'll see y'all tomorrow